Hey everybody, um, I'm going to do my absorbency test, and um, I wanted to do my absorbency test on pads that um, I got bleached. This is a requested video from a couple of people, and um, I will see how it goes, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to use a warm cup of water. And I'm going to use a teaspoon and I have used different ones I've seen like a girl use um, paper towels but I'm going to use um, paper so that way we can see on the paper if it bleeds through um, we can see with the um, bleeding on the paper so I'm going to start with a liner I mean a um, moderate pad from um uh, Heidi's Hearts Handmade and this is a video um not as regular use these have been um bleached I went through a I had a bleaching accident and these have been bleached so these are not um regular use pads this is what happens after you have bleach this is a requested video so please do not bleach your pads and this is kind of what happens to pads after they use and if they're still um uh still usable so i think heidi's hearts handmade in this camouflage one has um a layer of flannel in the middle cotton topped and fleece backed so i will put i will go ahead and use that one and at the same time go ahead and do a bookworm silkworm I think this one has a maybe a zorb core I believe and it is cotton topped and flannel backed so at the same time I'll go ahead and do both of those and I think at one time I will do a um I will do a um Um, an absorbency test on um, regular non-bleached um, pads versus disposables. But right now I'm going to do um, the bleached ones of how they originally were. And these could hold, you know, a good bit, but I don't want to see how much they can hold. So this is one tablespoon on each one of these. And this is warm water, so it'll soak through better. And this is one tablespoon on this one. So let's see how Heidi's is doing. Okay, it's still holding up. It seems really starting to really dampen. And let's see how this one is doing. It's feels okay I'll go ahead and show you I'll go ahead and wait I'll let my phone charge a little bit more and check it one more time hasn't leaked yet and it hasn't leaked yet so we'll do two tablespoons Okay, it looks like Heidi is wanting to start to leak right there. Right here, it's starting to want to leak. This one is still holding up. We'll see if Heidi's can take one more. I don't know if she can. That's not even a whole tablespoon. 
It's really starting to go in. I don't know if she can take a, another table, the whole tablespoon. Let's see if she can. Yeah, it's really, I believe it's affected the the absorbency. It's really starting to go through the back right there you can see where it started changing color so yep and it's already started leaking so yeah she is taking about maybe two two three tablespoons and she's leaked so it has really the bleaching really affected um Heidi's heart's handmade so yeah she is already you know leaking bad so um and before she could really really take it so um this is what the bleaching has done to Heidi's pad so um I really do not believe you should bleach your pads so we'll see what um if this one is still holding up no it started to hurt this one's done started um leaking I'll go ahead and show you this one's already started leaking it's already done started leaking through that one's done already started leaking through too so I'll give it one more tablespoon Give it about a half a tablespoon. See what happens. So yeah, Heidi's she was the bleaching really affected hers. So and this one had already started to leak. So yeah, we'll go ahead and say these two are really really out because this one could you can already tell that this one is also leaking you can already see the bleaching has really really affected these because this is just almost i mean three tablespoons of water and they're already and these this one even has zorb in it and so i will go ahead and move on let me Okay, these are both um, Kayla's Naturals, and one of these has um, just flannel, and one of these has flannel and um, Zorb and PUL, and I think this is the one with the flannel, um, Zorb and PUL, and this one's just the flannel and just the flannel, and then cotton topped and um, fleece. So, we will start with one um, tablespoon on each. Hold on, let me charge my phone in. Okay, I just plugged my phone in. All right, that is just one tablespoon, no leaks. Two tablespoons. Give it a second. And she's still holding up there. Okay. And she's still holding up. That's two. Okay, for a third one.
three, Still holding up. Let's see. Is she leaking yet? Yep, she's starting to leak. So we'll give her um three tablespoons. She's starting to leak. And Yeah, she's starting to go down toward the bottom with this one too. So I say about three tablespoons on each one. So and it's starting to go through the back. Yeah, she's starting to go through the back on this one too. So starting to squish. So I say about three, three tablespoons is the amount for this one. So I got one. I have a liner here, and I have two um, Zorb ones, but I'm going to wait and use them as a um, my period pads tonight. So I'm just going to wait and see what they absorb tonight. So I could just do another video with those. and I'd rather just let these dry. And I don't know how much this one can hold because it's just a liner and it's already started to leak. So this one can hold, apparently can just hold one tablespoon because it's already started to leak. So. Yeah, it's already started to leak. We'll go with a half a teaspoon. Go ahead and give it the rest of the thing and see how much more it can take. Yeah, it's already going through the bottom and fixing to start running out. So this one can hold about one and a half, maybe two. So... This is one reason you should not um, bleach your pads because it will ruin the absorbency. Because even with Zorb, they will not be able to hold it. They cannot even because even with this one, this one cannot hold um, three, three, um, even with Zorb, it cannot hold three, um, I mean, with three, uh, three, that was just three ounces, I mean, three tablespoons, and it could not even hold it, so, um, it was going, it was leaking through the back at three tablespoons, so please, please, I beg you, do not bleach your pads, so, um, if y'all have any more questions, just leave your, your comments down at the bottom, and like always, I hope you keep God first and have a blessed day, and like I said, if you have any comments, just leave them down at the bottom. Um, I hope you have a great night, and this answers any of your questions. Um, love y'all. Bye.